Uh, hello students, um, welcome to tutorial number nine, uh, that is physics uh, 1015. So tutorial number nine is based on mechanical properties of matter. And I think we are also going to look at a bit of uh, fluid mechanics. Okay, so to begin with, let us consider question one here. Question one here requires us to calculate the pressure 150 meters below the surface of the sea. The density of seawater being given as uh, 1.026 grams per cubic centimeters. Okay, now to find the pressure in a body which is um, open at the top. We also need to consider the atmospheric pressure, okay? So, uh, to find the total pressure, which is also known as the absolute pressure, we are going to add the atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure, okay? So now, um, for an open uh, body that contains water, we can find the pressure at a depth h using the formula p absolute or the absolute pressure being equal to atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure okay so the gauge pressure is simply the pressure due to the depth okay and also the density of that uh, fluid Okay, so now to find the total pressure at that uh, depth, which is 150 meters, we are going to have pressure equals P0, which represents the atmospheric uh, pressure here, plus the gauge pressure. Now, the gauge pressure here is given as the density multiplied by uh, the gravity multiplied by the depth, the depth which is H in this case. Okay. So also, note that the pressure of a liquid is uh, simply uh, the weight of uh, that liquid divided by the surface area, okay, of the body which contains uh, the liquid. So in this case, uh, if we consider that, we are going to discover that rho multiplied by g, in this uh, case, rho g knowing that rho is the density and we know that density is mass over volume we are going to have mv multiplied by g okay so rho times g is the same as m over v multiplied by gravity where m is the mass of the fluid and v is uh, the volume okay so we know that mg again is the weight, therefore the density multiplied by the gravity gives us the weight of the fluid divided by its volume. Okay, so we're going to need uh, some of this knowledge for some questions that are um, ahead in this tutorial. But for now, let us focus uh, on what we are given. So we are given the depth uh, of this uh, C and we are also given the density of the seawater. So the atmospheric pressure is uh, the standard pressure which is known, the value is known in this case. So atmospheric pressure is usually given as 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 pascals. Okay. So notice here that I have decided to also consider the atmospheric pressure because I want to find the absolute pressure at that depth but in some cases you may not be required to uh, consider this pressure instead you may only be required to find the gauge pressure okay so for our case let us consider the atmospheric pressure as well and if we do that we are going to uh, substitute into our expression for absolute pressure we find absolute pressure equals atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure which is given by rho the density 
Now notice the density here that it has been converted from grams per cubic centimeters to kgs per cubic meters. Okay. Therefore, it has changed to 1026 kgs per cubic meters. Then we multiply this value by our gravitational uh, field strength, which is G, 9.8, and multiplied by the depth, which is 150 meters. Okay? So take note also that uh, you need to work out the units uh, in standard. So the units have to be standard so that you get your desired um, final value with standard units as well. So after we sum these uh, pressures together, we are going to find the absolute pressure at that depth of 150 meters as 1.61 times 10 to the power 6 pascals. Okay, so this is the absolute pressure um, at a depth of 150 meters uh, below the sea. Okay, so now let's move on to our next question. We move on to question two. So question two here says, tension in a piano wire. We have a 1.6 meters long steel piano wire, which has a diameter of 0 0.2 centimeters. Now, we want to find the tension in this wire if it stretches 0 0.25 centimeters when tightened okay so in other words it's like we are trying to determine the force that is applied in stretching this wire a length of 0 0.25 centimeters so again here these are simply mechanical properties we are going to need the Young's modulus for this particular wire and because it is steel we are going to use the Young's modulus for uh, steel, okay? Therefore, the length that we are given according to the data in the question is 1.6 meters, okay? The radius of this wire is simply uh, the diameter divided by 2. We get 0 0.1 centimeter, but we have to convert that to meters. Therefore, our radius becomes... 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, okay? And the stretch, or rather the extension of this wire is given as 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, okay? So notice I have converted tw uh, 0 0.25 centimeters to meters as um, the extension of this wire, okay? Again, we also need to take note that the Young's modulus for steel is given as 2.0 times 10 to the 11 pascals. Okay, so this is the value of the Young's modulus for steel. Now, we know the formula for the Young's modulus and based on the data in our question, we can easily determine the force that is applied in stretching this wire. Okay, so the Young's modulus is usually given as the stress over the strain. Okay, where the stress is simply the force per unit area. And also the strain is simply the extension divided by the original length of the particular material. Alright, so now... We know the value of the Young's modulus, we know the value of the uh, area, we can obtain the area, which is simply pi r squared. The extension is given and also the original length. So we simply find an expression for F, so that we can find the tension in, uh, uh, in uh, stretching this wire. So the tension is equal to F, and if we find an expression uh, for F from this, we are going to find F as F equals Young's modulus multiplied by the extension multiplied by the area divided by the original length of that Y. Okay, so now we uh, need to find the area 
we need to find the area here okay so we also know that area is given us by r squared where our r converted to meters is uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 and it has to be squared okay giving us an area of 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, square meters okay so after finding this value of the area we can substitute the other values in the expression for f and we'll be able to obtain the tension that is responsible for that stretch okay so the young's modulus multiplied by the extension multiplied by the area and divided by the original length therefore we have our tension as 981.3 newtons right so this is the tension that is required to stretch this um, wire. Okay.